Hi guys, this is Marvin from shopsadapage.com and today we're going to build the ultimate laptop cooling system. Let's get to it! So I recently reviewed this laptop vacuum cooler and it's actually effective. It sucks hot air directly from your laptop's exhaust and it also has a control knob here so you can control the fan speed. It also comes with different vacuum sealers so you can use it on most laptops. Now, I also have the commonly used laptop cooling pad right here and I'm interested to find out what's more effective between this laptop cooling pad and this laptop vacuum cooler. But I'm also interested to know the results if you use both this laptop cooling pad and this laptop vacuum cooler at the same time. Let's find out, shall we? By the way guys, what I have here is a laptop cooling pad with two fans from a company called Tech Cool. Your results may vary depending on the laptop cooling pad that you're going to use, but what's important here is to find out if there's a significant improvement in using a laptop cooling pad compared to a laptop vacuum cooler. For this test, I set a baseline by recording the temperature of the laptop's processor using IDA64, without any cooling device on both idle and during load, which is by playing CSGO for about 5 to 6 rounds and then I shut down the laptop to let it cool down in between tests. On idle, without any cooler, the temperature is around 48 degrees at max and 83 degrees at max during load. So that would be our baseline temps. The next test is using the laptop cooling pad only. During idle, the temperature is around 49 degrees at max and during load, it maxed out around 80 degrees so there's only a 3 degrees difference when using a laptop cooling pad during load. Just take note that we're just looking at the CPU temperature here guys. Next is using the laptop vacuum cooler only. At idle, the temperature is around 44 degrees at max and just around 72 degrees at max during load. Which is a whopping 10 degrees difference compared to no cooling device and 7 degrees cooler than using the laptop cooling pad. Now, for the last test, we're going to use both the laptop cooling pad and the laptop vacuum cooler to build the ultimate laptop cooling system. So at idle, the temperature is around 42 degrees at max and 71 degrees at max during load. So there's only a 2 degrees improvement so I guess you're better off just using the laptop vacuum cooler alone as the results are not that significant. I'm not saying that the laptop cooling pad doesn't help because in theory it should. It's just that it doesn't remove hot air directly from the processor or excess like the vacuum cooler does. What it does is it cools the laptop overall by pushing cold air from the top so it should help on some parts of the laptop somehow. The ideal setup would be the combination of both these devices as it yields the best results. However, in terms of practicality, space, and ease of use, not to mention budget, you can go by just using the vacuum cooler. But if those factors don't matter, then by any means go for the ultimate laptop cooling system. Let me know guys in the comments below if this test helped you decide which laptop cooling device to get and if you have any suggestions for other devices like these two. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link on the description below. Subscribe if you like this and see you next time. Thank you, have a good day. Oh,